So in my last how to get rid of Windows video, I installed Mint, and that was what I recommended people. However, I was told something in the comments, which prompted me to make this video now instead of later. So, I'll be installing KDE Plasma on Arch Linux in this video, and I'll be using Wayland, which is what I recommend you use. So, let's start. So, I'll make the VM. I already got the ISO installed. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get the ISO. So, put this here. Forward. Let's give this like 20 gigs of RAM, that should be fine, and like uh, 8 CPUs, that should be fine. Keep this, and we should be good here. So, install, and so it's gonna go into, the, it's gonna run a few things, and then it's gonna go to where you can start installing. Okay, so what you're gonna run is arch install. Okay, so once you're here, you're gonna wanna set your mirror region first. Set it to your country, it'll give you a huge list, so I'm gonna set it to the United States. Drives, you wanna pick the drive that you're gonna install it on, and then you wanna wipe the drive and use ext4. Next, set your host name to whatever you want, user account, add a user, so I'm just gonna call it Arch because it's a VM, and then set a random password, and then you can confirm and exit, audio, set it to pipeware. And then for packages, you're going to install git and flatpak. So, it's going to confirm those exist, which they do. Network configuration, use network manager. Time zone, you once again set it to whatever time zone that you're in. So, I'm going to set it to mine. And then optional repositories. You can install, you can, not install, you can set these if you want. I'm going to set both of them. Because I can. And then next. For the profile, you're gonna want, for this video, I'm gonna do desktop, and then you get this huge, you get this huge list of options. Of course, I'm gonna set it to KDE. And then, if you're on AMD, set this. And then if you're on NVIDIA, you know, you pick these. I'm just gonna put all, all open source, cause I'm on a VM, I don't think it actually matters for me. Now I'm gonna click install. And now it's gonna do the install process. You don't have to do anything to just, just let it do its thing. So, just to save people time, I'm gonna cut to when it's done doing this, because it takes a while. So now that it's done installing, it's gonna ask you if you wanna CH root into your new install. No you don't, just click restart. This is a voiceover because I forgot to unmute my microphone after an hour of waiting for this to finish installing. So there's my fail. Okay, so now once you're booting in, you can select this, and now you're gonna load into your new install. And so you can see here, you got the option between Wayland and X11. It's actually defaulting Wayland now. You're gonna want to select Wayland, and then sign your account. Make sure you split the thing right. And once you're in, you can set your resolution by configure display settings here, and. If you want to set yourself to dark mode, you can do it here. It'll be light mode by default. I just forgot to enable my mic and had to re-record this bit. Yay. Okay, so, now, I already did this the first time and then when I forgot to use my mic, I'll just do it again now. So now you're gonna go to console, and you do git clone https clone slash slash r dot arch linux dot org slash yay dot git and you're gonna cd into yay and then you're gonna do make pkg dash si and what it's gonna do is it's gonna start building the package so let's do its thing now type in your password and then go through this. Now you can go back to CD arm dash RF yay. Because you don't need it anymore. So you can clear this. And so now what we're gonna do, because I'm gonna show you how to switch it to ZSH. You wanna do flat pack. I told you to install flat pack. This is we're gonna use it now to install 
Lee Werewolf. So it's gonna find this. You're gonna click yes, because that's the one we want. So if there's multiple things that come up when you use Flatpak, it'll give you a list and you'll select our own from there. You can go to Flathub to look at what's on there. So you're gonna install this. It's pretty much done downloading here. So all I do is the final thing. So now we're gonna go to our new application, which is Liberal, a privacy focused fork of Firefox. And so the first thing we're gonna do in this, of course, because this is one of my videos, and I'll have to show you this every single time. We're gonna go to Dark Reader and add the Firefox. So now, and now we're gonna reopen it again. And so now we're gonna, we're just gonna go to github.com slash oh my zsh slash oh my zsh. And so we'll see this project here. But before we install this, we have to go back to console. And we're gonna do sudo pacman dash s. And then we're gonna install this time zsh. And so, install this. Install. And now it's done. So, now we're gonna go to this. And then we can just run it like this. That's the command that'll run it, so now back to console. And we're just gonna put it in. So let me go my ZSH. And yes. And there it is. So now if we reopen console again, yeah, close the window. So now what we'll do is we're gonna pick a theme. So what we're gonna do is go to oh my Z my ZSH. Cause this will give us a huge list of themes. And so my eyes, they're gone. So we'll just you know, pick a random theme. We'll go with uh, this one just for simplicity. So now we're gonna go to console, and then we're gonna do. First, we need to install NeoVim. sudo pacman s NeoVim. So now, and Vim, and we're gonna do dot. No, I think yeah, dot zsh. R C, and now we can pick our theme here. So of course we're gonna do this. And now I'm not sure. We might need to restart our computer for this to actually take effect. I believe yeah. For us to take effect, we need to restart the computer. So we're just gonna go to this and then restart. So now let's open console. And we first we're gonna do sudo Pacman dash s neofetch just so we can take a look <coughs> at the uh, I can't speak yeah. our default shell should be zsh as you can see here so now if we do nvim dot zsh rc let's go back to oh my zsh we're gonna pick an actual good theme Random theme. Uh, let's see. We'll go with. We'll go with this one, sure. So now we'll set to this. So we can do WQ. So now if we open up console again, we'll be on that theme, as you can see. So now we got OmaZSH. And so, now we pretty much got this set up. And if you want to use Discord, you so let's go do the console again. We'll do flat pack install web core. 
So what this is gonna do is gonna stop webcord, which it's it's a much more I guess you can call it a much more secure version of the Discord client. That's pretty much the best way to call it. So now we're gonna go to webcord. And there it is. And then you can log into your account, you know, all that. The settings. I'd recommend disabling your desktop. And then there you go. Give it a microphone access. You can block your typing indicator. And you can switch between all these. And of course, enable in developer mode, of course. I'm not gonna log in, of course, but that's that. I hope this is helpful. Later this week, I'll do a video on Fedora. After about an hour and a half recording this, I'm done.